Moving on, a Saratoga Springs, Utah police officer was wearing a body camera during a deadly encounter with a black man, but the camera was reportedly not recording. That news raises new questions and adds fuel to an already volatile situation. Two white officers shot and killed Darian Hunt on September 10th. The 22-year-old was walking around a strip mall wearing a costume and a replica, a replica samurai sword. The police claim that Hunt lunged at them with the sword. A narrative of the autopsy says they fired three times. Hunt ran away and the officers fired at least four more times. The prosecutor declared the shooting justified, but the family's attorney says there are many unanswered questions. A bystander took a picture that shows Hunt smiling as he talks with the officers. Joining us now are Darian Hunt's mother, Susan Hunt, and his aunt, Cindy Moss. Thank you ladies so much for being here with us. And the first thing I want to say is my condolences and sympathies for the loss of uh, your beloved son. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you uh, being brave enough to come on and tell the story. I guess I just want to ask you first, Susan, how are you holding up? Um, I have good days and bad days. Um, a lot of the time, I guess I'm in denial still that he's really not with us physically. Mm -hmm. I know it's got to be unimaginably difficult for you. Uh, when you see the video uh, of this encounter with um, your son, the police encounter with your son, and there are some parts of the interaction that can't be seen on this video, but when you look at it, what do you see? <laughs> I, um, I see my baby um, terrified. <laughs> I know. I know it's difficult. Why don't and you take a breath? Running for his life. Yes. Take a breath. And Cindy, mm -hmm. let me uh, let me talk to you. You know, there was an organized rally yesterday in front of the police headquarters in Sar Saratoga Springs, prompted after learning the police who shot and killed your nephew was wearing a body camera that was not recording. How outraged do you feel by that? It makes me extremely angry. Um, Number one, that they've lied about it. They've said that they didn't have them on at all. And then now for the, us to see it in their report that um, at least one of the officers had, a, had one on for sure. Um, the other one had, um, had audio on him and all of that seems to be not turned on. And then they tried to make an excuse like, well, it took three whole buttons to turn these things on. And I, I can't understand why, in their words, if they think that they were going to some huge volatile situation, why they wouldn't turn those on even on the way there. Um, why they would even buy shoddy equipment if that's their excuse. Mm -hmm. Susan, let me ask you, what kind of costume was your son wearing and why was he wearing the costume? I don't even know for sure if it was a costume. Um, it because of him wearing the red shirt and because he has the afro and because he had the sword, he looked like something from a Comic-Con. I think it was Manja or, but he loved Afro Samurai, the movie with Samuel Jackson. And I think he was looking for a job. Why he took the sword, I can't read his mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have no idea, but um, he missed Comic-Con. So maybe he thought that that was his chance to go out and uh, represent. I'm not quite sure. Darian, we're looking at a picture of him. Uh, he has golden mm -hmm. brown skin. He is mixed race. He has a black father, as I understand. You are a white yes. woman. Did it ever occur <laughs> to you to teach Darian how to react when confronted by law enforcement? Absolutely. And my husband um, is a former Marine. <laughs> so my children were taught uh, strong respect for the government and for the military and Darian did nothing but comply and he taught him to comply to his dad so of course I'm sure yeah. that's what he did that day. Mm -hmm. And there's that picture taken by a bystander showing him smiling uh, with the police officer. Cindy, let me briefly ask you, uh, I understand the uh, Utah chapter of the NAACP is seeking a federal review of the Utah police. Do you think that that will get you closer to what you believe justice is? Well, we're praying it really does. I hope that they really look at it. And the things we're seeing is it looks like even the 
whole county has some corruption in there um, and have allowed a lot of these things to happen in the name of, um, of protecting them. Mm -hmm. and, and so we're very concerned that the whole department is looked at. Um, I think that will happen since they're the ones that did the investigation. Um, obviously, there's a lot of problems with that investigation. They didn't even supposedly know things that they should have read in there, which brings up a lot of concern about the whole investigation, obviously. Mm -hmm. Susan, before we go, very tragically and so often people who die at the hands of violence are defined by that violent death. Just take a few seconds and tell us about your son, the person he was in his life. Um, from the time he could talk, he loved music. Oh, sorry. Um, you probably have a picture of him when he was just in diapers and he got his first headset and he couldn't wait for it to come out of the box before he could start listening to his music. And mm. any time if there wasn't music on, he would cry and shake his head and go, nee, 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 and we knew to turn the music on, and then he would be so happy and just smile, and he was just all about uh, um, making peace and forgiving, and... I know this has been difficult. He wanted so desperately to just have all the horrible things in the world to be gone and he, the homeless, and I mean, it seems really maybe like I'm just praising my son strictly because he's passed, but he truly was a gentle, kind boy who was forgiving and loving and just wanted to know everything about everything and appreciated things around him and mm -hmm. couldn't understand why people, um, um, spent so much money on stupid things when there were homeless people mm -hmm. and he was just a really he was a beautiful loving boy and just wanted to learn and learn and learn and learn <laughs> I and know. watch silly documentaries that my kids thought were the boringest things ever. <laughs> <laughs> Susan, I'm going to have to jump in. Uh, I oh, know sorry. how difficult this has been for you, but I thank you for your bravery to come on Thanks. and to tell your story. Susan Hunt, Cindy Moss, I wish blessings upon you and your family. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And this is Arise America.